It's Tech Talk, Tech Talk Tuesday, yay! Hi friends, hi parents and little leaders, it is Miss T and I'm here at the Heart Next Door and it is my favorite day of the week, it is Tech Talk Tuesday where we are sharing with you some hands-on, mostly STEAM-based activities that you can do at home very easily. Um, these are products and items and resources that you can find around your house, just like we did, okay? So today's um, activity that we're doing is a classroom favorite. Today is the mystery box game. So for the mystery box game, all you will need is a few items. So you're going to need a scarf or something that you can use for a blindfold. You will need a box, of course, and you... Um, also keep in mind that you can also use a bag instead of a box. And then lastly, you'll just need some items to place inside your box. Keep in mind, parents, that you want to keep these items inside of the box a secret from your little leader so that they don't know what's inside, okay? Hence the name Mystery Box, all right? So after you have these items, I have about 10 items inside of my box. You can have as many as you want, as many or as few as you want inside of yours. Then you are going to call your little leader. Usually we have a little leader with us, but today we don't. So I'm just going to be calling on Mr. Chip. All right, Mr. Chip is here and I'm going to go ahead and put this blindfold around his head to make sure that he can't see the contents inside. <clears throat> of course, make sure you don't tie it too tight. Oh, oh. <laughs> he's dramatic. He's a little dramatic. The great thing about this game, too, parents, is that in addition to it being um, a fun game for tactile senses, you can also use it as a game to test their um, olfactory senses as well, their sense of smell. So you can put a whole bunch of things inside of the box that have different smells and then test them out and see if they can identify them. Or you can even um, put a bunch of things inside that have different sounds and then test out their auditory sense as well. All around, it's just a great way to boost their development. So, here we go. And, oh, I forgot the most important thing. The most um, amazing thing about this game is that it comes with a song because music makes everything better, doesn't it, Mr. Chip? <laughs> so, the song for this game is called a Mystery Box Song. Here it goes. Mystery Box, Mystery Box. I wonder what's in the mystery box. Mystery box, mystery box. Let's feel our way inside. All right, Mr. Chip, here we go. We're relying on just your hand. Pick your first item and tell me what you feel. How does it feel? It's a good one. Oh, it comes. Oh, this is play doh. It play doh. Just, it feels rubbery. Ah, it feels rubbery. Awesome. Okay, I keep Chewing. going. <laughs> Please don't put it in your mouth. This is also a ball. A ball. Okay. It's a little easy for Mr. Chef to breeze through these, but when you're doing it with your little leader at home, um, they may, may, may not, not be, be as familiar easy. with them. It may not be as easy for them. So some things you can do is just ask them, what is the texture? What do you feel? Oh, and just help well, them work sponge. their way. Uh -huh. sponge. Exactly. Sponge. Help them work their way to the answer. Block. Block, of course. Wooden, yeah. Uh-huh. This is a straw. No, not a straw. Not a straw. Oh, um, what are those things? Uh, stethoscope. Stethoscope. Good. Uh -huh. Doctors use it. You see. Boop, 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 boop. A few more. That has an interesting texture, huh? Yeah, it is good. This is a, um, oh, it's a glove. Glove, yeah. that's good. This is a, um, basketball. <laughs> it's a, oh, uh, it's a teddy bear. Uh, close enough, it's a dog. Uh, is it no, it's got three more. Okay, this is uh, the, mm -hmm. the puzzle like pieces. Yes. Uh -huh. Interlocking uh, mirror. Mirror, yes. good. Got one more. Uh, this is a uh, 
shape. Ah, so on a shape, what kind of shape is it? Mm. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Hexagon. Good, hexagon. That's a great thing too, Paris, that you can make sure to um, insert shapes. You can insert 2D and 3D shapes depending on where your child is developmentally. And you can um, test them by allowing them to count the size. This is a box. Of this course, box. of course, of course, that's a box. All right, woohoo, Mr. Chip, you did such a great job. Would you like a cowboy cheer today? A roller coaster cheer? What kind of cheer would you like today? Oh, a cowboy cheer. A cowboy cheer. All right. So here at the Her Next Door, we do so many different kind of fun cheers. The cowboy cheer goes like this. Here we go. Two claps and a yeehaw. Here we go. One, two. Yeehaw. <laughs> <laughs> Great job, Mr. Chip. Great job, little leaders and parents. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you next time.